continue from previous video where we calculate the design wind speed that we calculated um, uh, 46 meter per second in the last video we calculated the design theta 46 meter per second now in this video we like to find the design wind pressure on the stained glass window so the stained glass windows on typical uh, church buildings you will find able to see those kind of uh, stained glass window where you have color color uh, color stains that uh, uh, happen on the on the glass so that's that's the typical stained glass windows look like we have a rectangular um, uh, window but this is just uh, just uh, demonstrating the stained glass window now here uh, located on the windward wall uh, i have drawn this um, these uh, 3d pictures for 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 this uh, for this church examples for uh, for uh, for our for our our cases now if this is the church examples uh, this is a 3d drawing for this one now i draw this 3d drawing using this one now if this is the cross section so that cross section has a has a 24 meters so this is 24 meters that is 24 meters here and then wind is coming from here and this is 23 meters so wind is coming from here that is 23 meters uh, in the examples in the description it says that it says that um, uh, some window description so only westernly will be considered a reality of this one the building will have one door uh, 9.9 uh, meter by 2.1 meters and four windows total area this one on the north and south wall so this is the um, let's say north and south wall so we have a one door and total area is 1.8 by 1.2 meters for for this south wall and there is a north wall on on here uh, uh, a stained glass window 2.4 meter by 1 point meter on the west wall so that is the stained glass window 2.4 meter by 1.2 meters and the double door on the east wall total area is 1.8 meters so on the east side on these sides we have a 1.8 meter by 2.1 meter meters double door now we we have a equation to calculate the design wind pressure on the windward walls so p equal to that's big equation here now that equation is coming from section 2.4.1 on page number 11 on page number 11 uh, you can see on page number 11 we have this uh, equation to calculate the uh, design wind pressures that is in pascals um, that is uh, that is the uh, this equation is written written in here now some of the values that we're going to extract is from the standards first value is the density of air which is 1.2 kilogram per meter squares the couple of line below this equation it has given density of air which is 1.2 kg per meter cube uh, that is here design wind speed we calculated 46 meter per second square that's uh, design wind speed is a uh, 46 meter per second square that we calculated and the di uh, dynamic uh, factor is one meters uh, then find the aerodynamic safe factor c fix so we know this 0 0.5 we have uh, density uh, we have this density of air we know 46 dynamic uh, factor is one because it's given here it says that dynamic response factors as given in section number four it should be one except where the structure is dynamically wind sensitive we don't have given any detail that structure is dynamically wind sensitive so we are taking the uh, dynamic factor one so we just need to find this um, aerodynamic uh, safe uh, factor c fig now the aerodynamic safe factor is given on page number 27 on page number 27 uh, uh, close 5.2 we have two equations one for internal pressure calculation and another one for external pressure calculation so we are using this external pressure coefficient cpe ka kce kl and kp that's uh, that's written written here now we are uh, going to find uh, each parameter one by one to calculate these aerodynamic safe factors now first one we're going to calculate external pressure coefficient which is cpe now the height of the building is 5.25 meters that we calculated um, uh, in the last videos that uh, height of the building is 5.25 meters which is classified less than 25 meters z equal to h and wind speed does not vary with height because the uh, it's a low rise building it's not multi-story building so uh, on page number 33 on page number 33 um, on page number 33 here we have a table 5.2a 
uh, it has a two height one height is less than 25 meters and the height greater than 25 meters so less than 25 meters you have two sections now the first section is used for the low rise buildings and the second section used for high rise buildings so for this case we have a um, low rise buildings and that has a factor cp is 0 0.7 when the wind speed is taken as z equal to z is the height of the building so we are taking cpe value for windward walls is 0 0.7 from table 5.28 so that CPE value is 0 0.7, table 5.2a on page number 33. Now, um, once you find this, um, uh, once you find this um, uh, CPE value, that's uh, CPE value. Next, we're going to find Ka, which is area reduction factor. Now, section 5.4.2 on page number 35. On page number 35, now area reduction factors only apply for roof and side walls. Now, we are working on the windward walls because our stained glass window is located on the windward wall, apply only roof and side walls. So, the stained glass window is located on western wall, which is the windward wall. I can show it here on the drawing. So, wind is coming from the west side and the stained glass windows on the windward wall western wall so um, so the ka value can be applied to the roof and side walls only so the ka calculation can be done for for the roof and side walls but for the windward wall ka value is one so uh, for the windward wall ka does not apply so ka equal to one section 5.4.2 on page number 35 that i that i explain it here page number 35 and the area reduction factor for roof and side walls that is uh, uh, for um, for all so you can see for all other cases ka will be taken as as one so we found the uh, we found the cpe value we found the ka value uh, one now we are going to find this kce value now the kce is called combination factor kc it's given in the section 5.4.3 on page 35 uh, which is um, action combination action combination factor kc now uh, a combination factor for internal and external pressure will allow the use of combination factor kc however there is no reduction for positive wall pressures and negative internal pressure there is no any detail given which is table 5.5 so if you uh, turn the page and page number 36 there are some details given about calculation of kc but there is no any details given in the example about reducing those internal and, and external pressure so we are taking this kc value equal to one now those kc value equal to one that we found it here we calculate cpe value ka kc now we are need to find kl value now this kl value KL value is the local pressure factor, step 1.4. Local pressure factor KL may apply if the area is small enough. Now, we need to calculate the small a. Now, the small a can be calculated from the from the section from the section 5.4.4 on the on page number 37. It has given one the value of dimension a is a minimum of 0.2b, minimum of 0.2b, 0.2d, and the height h right so that is the written here taking from this line and if you need the notation about a b a d and this one that is given on figure number 5.3 now figure 5.3 is given on uh, figure 5.3 is given on page number 39 and it has all the notations for 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 those those dimensions now here height we calculated 5.25 meters that we calculated like, like previously here height is um, 5.25 meters now we need to recognize this d and b now to find the d and b we can use these pictures here when the wind is coming from the west side of this uh, these structures the perpendicular is a b and the parallel to this one is a is a d so in our case if i take the three dimensional uh, structures we have these structures where we are taking this one b and this one d same as this uh, given in the table uh, figure number 5.2 on page number uh, 32 we have this uh, wind load um, we have this b and d dimensions so b equal to 23 d equal to 24 
so d equal to 24 b equal to 23 um, multiplication give 5.25 4.8 and 4.6 so minimum value is 4.6 so a equal to 4.6 now limiting area equal to 0.25 a square 0.25 times 4.6 square give us 5.29 meter square now area of the stained glass window uh, i think this dimension is given in the in our questions the the stained glass window has 2.4 meter by 1.2 meters so that's uh, area of the stained glass window is 2.88 meter square so in our case we have a area a is less than the limiting area a which is 2.88 which is less than 5.29 so local pressure factor kl we need to use table 5.6 we have table 5.6 on page number 38 to find the local pressure factors now in here we have a positive pressure for windward walls and for this case area is less than 0.25 a square and this anywhere and we have a wa1 uh, for the windward wall so for windward wall we are taking 1.5 as for windward wall we are calculating for windward wall so that value is kl equal to 1.5 uh, kl now we calculated the uh, different values now so far now the last one we calculated CPE, KA, KC, KL and last one is KP. Now the KP value that we have, now the KP value is a permeable cladding reduction factor KB. The window is not porous. So the reduction factor KB for porous cladding does not apply and KP equal to 1. If you need more information that is on page number 29. That is on page number page number 39 on section 5.4.5 permeable cladding reduction factor shall be taken one except that are external pressure consider permeable cladding and so on so we are just going to take um, uh, uh, kp uh, kp value as a one and this one is 39 now once we found all the factors we can find the um, pressures pressures that equals that we just explained it in the last um, in in the previous steps we have 0 0.5 density of air is 1.2 that we density of air is 1.2 that we just listed uh, design wind speed is 46 meter per seconds that we we found previously now c fig is the is this equations that we are going to use c fig has a cpe ka kc kl kp so that's uh, written here cpe uh, has a cpe value of 0.7 that is cpe value of 0.7 that we calculated uh, in the CPE value is uh, is the 0 0.7 and then we have a uh, KA value KA value is 1 KC value is uh, is a 1 only the only the found that KL is 1.5 and KP is 1 so that's uh, KL is uh, 1.5 KP is 1 and the uh, dynamic factor is 1 that multiplication gives 133 pascals that is positive means pressures and this is on the windward wall and this coming from so positive means the pressures and that is coming from windward wall so that is 133 pascals on the windward wall and is positive pressure thank you